my male beard dragon you've seen him in my other videos but here he is he's pretty big i mean considering the fact that he's um uh, well he was mistreated before we got him he was not being held as much and not being fed veggies almost every day so now he's with me and now he's getting living it up hi mushu hi mushu for today's video we're gonna be talking about bearded dragon care and how to take care of your bearded dragon at home okay step one for taking care of a bearded dragon is that you always gotta have a good amount of space as you see here, I turned off his light since he's not in it, but I have about a 40 to 50 gallon tank right here. I have his pellets, his food, his hammock, his driftwood that we actually got from the lake, and my dad screwed it together and it made a perfect like driftwood thing for him. And a little life hack, if you have a baby bearded dragon, you can use paper towels for a little like, um, a little like fun, like right here, like a little fun hide for them that they can crawl through. My leopard geckos have them since they're small enough. Mushu couldn't fit through because you know he's ginormous. He's in a an adult bearded dragon, so he cannot fit through there. So in comparison, my hand, my tiny hand, compared to him, he's pretty big, in my opinion. And when I noticed when I first got him, his eyes are orange around it. He's like just beautiful. He's a beautiful bearded dragon. And I give them baths since, you know, you got to about one to three times a week give your Peter Dragon a bath because, I mean, you got to clean them because they poop and it'll get all over them. And you got to clean them. So, yeah, that's it. And for another thing is that they'll eat kale, carrots, um, veggies, they'll eat strawberries, blueberries. And his favorite, for some reason, is orange bell peppers. I don't know why the red or the yellow, but it's just orange. I guess if his favorite color would be anything, it would be orange, huh? One time, I took him to PetSmart, and, I mean, he was just chilling on my shoulder. Everyone was looking at him, though, because he's beautiful. He's orange. But, yeah, that's Mushu. And if you're a beginner wanting a bearded dragon, I would recommend you watching my video because I could tell you all about it. How many times do you need to clean out its carpet? I mean, you should at least once or twice a month clean out the carpet, put it under some water, and let it dry out in the natural heating. If it's taking too long, wrap it around with a towel and put it in the sun again. It will be brand new. And yeah, that's how you clean it. If you got a little bit more poop stuck, then you gotta kinda scrape it. But yeah, mostly he's pretty easy, I mean, I would recommend these for a beginner because, I mean, they're really easy and they're really cute. And if you notice why they're called bearded dragons is because they have actually have like a beard. Whenever they get mad, they puff out their beard. And a little hack for you guys, if you guys wonder why your bearded dragon always has black under its throat, it's because it's a little angry or upset. Maybe you didn't give them the right amount of veggies that morning or actually bearded dragons don't really like veggies. But yeah. Maybe you didn't give him enough wax worms that day. Just go go ahead and give him an extra wax worm if you didn't. Because he'll be upset for the rest of the day. Which is pretty funny because I'll give him mealworms. He'll eat about 20 small mealworms in one setting. 20 to 30, but, you know, yeah. That's just Mushu. He's always looking everywhere for some reason. But, yeah. If you guys wanted to check up on the eggs here, I'll leave the camera on Mushu. And I'll show you guys... And go get the eggs for them. Here I got the crested gecko eggs. I'm going to give you guys a checkup on Reese's. If you did not see my first video, um, you know, about two, three days ago, I made a video about the eggs and about how, how to incubate them, how to take care of them. Here's Reese's eggs. They're pretty dented still, but you know, um, high hopes for the tiny eggs. I mean, it's her first clutch. I'm pretty proud of her for giving them out. Because if you guys don't know, if you're breeding crested geckos, always keep a lay box in there. Because I've heard 
females have died of being compacted because the people haven't put a lay box in there. And they're thinking, you know, it's not the right time. You gotta always keep at least a lay box, patch of moss, or whatever. You guys did not notice the past days, the blue ones are making condensation around the thing, or just around them. And they're beginning to have brown spots, which is their veins, which meaning that it's getting close to hatch. As soon as this will them too. You see more condensation around it? Notice them around this too. These were the ones that just, these are the ones that just, um, just got, uh, Sally just gave us. So the, this one and this one are the ones that are going to be able to hatch soon. So I'll give you guys an update about them tomorrow, next day, and then until we get these bad boys, and I'll be telling you guys the routine and how to take care of the baby crested egg when you first get it. If you guys do not know what to do when they hatch, go ahead and watch. Um, I don't think it's going to be published by now, but whenever these ones hatch too, I'll be telling you guys how to take care of them. And yeah. So... I'll give you guys a, just a little look on what these look like. If you guys want to just want to look at them. If you are a beginner and if you want to breed crested geckos, Go ahead and watch a short that I've created. I mean, um, I don't know if I've made it up, I know. But I'm going to be making a video about how to take care of crested gecko eggs and how to breed them and how to take care of them. But on to the main part of the video about Mushu. He's running all around my bed. It's pretty funny. He will like to go on that bed. See if he does that. He likes to be very adventurous, so make sure if you guys keep your bearded dragon in your cage for about one to two days, just without handling them, make sure they have enough room to have any enrichment or a rock, some hard surface when he's in shed so he can get the shed off, some pellets, a hide. He really likes having a cardboard hide and going on top of it. You can see right here, it's, oh, there's a flash on, so you probably cannot see it, but it's dented. There you go. It's stented. And because he's going on top of it. Which is actually pretty funny. Is he likes to go and climb on the wallpaper. He thinks it's real climbing enrichment. No. I'll have to move him because he tries to get on there. And I'm like, no, Mushu. And then I have to put him on here. Then he goes pancake mode again. But yeah. Here's Mushu. He wants to say hi. But yeah, I would recommend giving offering your bearded dragon some veggies every day just so you know he gets good healthy a diet give him wax worms a couple times a month if you're trying to get him back on weight then give him about wax worms every other week or so if you guys are first time beginners and you think that you can't hold them or if they're too hard to hold give it about 15 minutes two times a week and you'll be back on track and they'll be friendly. I'm not saying this ever happened to me about Mushu, but he has been a little feisty one time around my dogs, but he's feisty around anything, to be honest. But one time when I tried to pick him up, he flared out his beard, making it go outwards and opening his mouth slightly, meaning that he's being a little aggressive. But, you know, you gotta like tat him on the head. Make sure when you see a bearded dragon doing that, rub down their spine, do not aim for their tail. Their tail, you probably do that. But don't grab it or it will fall off. That's not good. But they will try to regrow it, but it will not be regrown. But here he is. You'll see that he will have boogers. Oh, he just tried to eat the camera. But he'll have boogers. If you have a beer dragon, if they make boogers, go ahead and take it out for them because they can't take it out. If anything, it'll take about a couple of weeks or so for them to take it out themselves. But I would recommend trying to pull it out with some tweezers or your index fingers and your thumb. But yeah, this is Muju, and this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Go ahead and subscribe and like if you'd like to. But 
Thank you guys for watching today's video. Thank you for all your support. I'm trying to make the best videos I can. I just started. Now I'm gonna be making my next video. I'm gonna be making a tour of how of all the reptiles and amphibians. So thank you. Bye guys. I think Mushu wants to say bye.